What's up everybody? It's me, Zombie. I'm here in my very messy shop that I still haven't cleaned after making my Abyss Watcher costume. But you know what? Cleaning is gonna have to wait because I have something really cool I want to show you. Have you ever looked at a costume and been like, holy cow, that is the coolest costume I've ever seen. I have to make it. But oh my god, look at that chainmail. Chainmail is intimidating. But in reality, it's just really intricate. It's kind of like hardcore knitting. To make chainmail, it requires making a bunch of little ringlets and stringing them all together until you eventually have sleeves or a part of chainmail or an entire body of chainmail or whatever you're trying to make. It's really cool, it's challenging, it's a fun new skill to learn, but it takes a lot of time. And knowing us cosplayers, a lot of us don't have that kind of time. So if you do have that kind of time, learn the skill, it's awesome. And plus, you're going to have street cred for making real chain mail. But for those of us who procrastinate and don't have a lot of time to make an entire suit of chain mail, I'm gonna show you some really cool cheap alternatives. Today I'm going to be showing you some alternatives to chainmail. They're affordable, flexible, and a bit cooler to wear during con season. I'm also going to be showcasing one of my favorite alternatives that was suggested to me by SRS Razmataz. All of her information will be down below, as well as all the materials that I'm going to be suggesting to you today. One of the most versatile alternatives that you can use is going to be knit material. This is material that resembles chainmail, but is flexible, you can sew it, and still resembles chainmail in pictures and even a few feet away from the costume. One of my other favorite alternatives is going to be printed fabric. This fabric can be made out of any material. You can order it on a website like Spoonflower. You can choose which print you want or even create a print of your own. Order it and it shows up in a few weeks and you have fabric that has chainmail pattern printed onto it. Printed material looks good in pictures. Unfortunately, when you get closer to the material, you can tell that it's just a 2D picture printed onto fabric. But what's cool about it is you can print it onto any kind of fabric that you want to. So, say if you're going to a cooler con, you can print it onto a little bit thicker of a fabric. Or if you're going to a super hot con, you can print it onto a lighter fabric. And finally, I am going to show you my favorite alternative so far for chain mail. It is this amazing rubber mat, and you can find it on Amazon. It's really just rubber, and you can see it, it does have that kind of 3D effect. You can see right through it. The good thing about this is that it is an actual 3D material that looks like chainmail. Um, it's durable, but unfortunately it's not flexible. The way I've been using it is I've just gotten an undersuit or a piece that needed chainmail on it, cut it out in like a black fabric first, and then kind of draped and fitted this over that piece. I am now sitting down at my workstation and I have a little rectangular piece of that rubber mesh. Now on one side of the mesh has these like weird bubbles that really protrude upward. Um, on the other side, it is flat. And this flat side is the side that we are going to be painting. Now that I have my bumpy material side down in my workspace, I'm going to take some silver rough and buff, take the teeny tiniest little bit off the top because a little bit goes a long way with rub and buff. And I am just gonna start painting it right on. Here's the piece all rub and buffed. I left a little corner of it uh, unfinished so you can kind of get a reference for how different it looks after it's painted. You can also get a silver acrylic for this too and kind of get the same effect in multiple layers. You can certainly add more silver rub and buff if you want a shinier, newer look or you can kind of leave it like this if you're looking for a more weathered look. If you want it to be even more weathered, you can sponge black acrylic onto this and it'll look even more grimy and grungy and gross. That's kind of what we did for Adam Solaire costume. So that is how I paint and weather one of my favorite chainmail alternatives. If you have a favorite chainmail alternative, please post it below. I will have learned new things and I'm sure you guys have tons of knowledge that you are willing to drop. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any other questions, please go check out my other costume videos and then post a comment down below and I will be happy to answer as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.